we kind of see as we believe, you know, so you can look at a mountain and not believe anything about it. Or you can look at a mountain and believe loads of different things about it. Like, oh, it's made out of hard rock and it'd be hard to climb or it'd be enjoyable to climb all these things <laughs> and give it a name and all, all things like that. But if you just look at it without any beliefs about it, then uh, I don't really want to say something, but <laughs> the words that are there, is like, then it's like totally magic. You know, the same thing is totally magic because you don't know what it is. You haven't given it any belief at all. So in the same way, we can look towards our sensations, like, and even our ideas that we have, we can look towards them but with the sense that we don't want to hold tightly to the beliefs. So we can even look towards beliefs, you know, somehow with the sense that you're open to like not holding on to the belief so tightly. You know, you're looking towards it with openness. And in a way that kind of transforms everything. Like, I like Muji says something like, what is it now? We see the world. What is it now? We see we the world. Are. Yeah, not that one. But we, the, what we think the world is, that's what it is, or something like that. What we think it is, then it is that. So, of course, it's kind of a little bit like what meaning we give it. It has that meaning but it's not really so mm. it's the same with the thinking thing like so we see whatever we think in a way you know um but like if we don't think anything you know if you're not holding on to any belief about the world and that includes that includes anything that's appearing inside us like sensations feelings sicknesses um emotions perceptions and then our, all the things in the world, like our relationships with people and the things we see, if we're not holding on to any ideas about it at all, then everything can be just transformed and become like that magic that you said, like, what did you say? Like butterflies and, and um, mm -hmm. butterflies and I don't know what else, whatever you'd imagine, like a beautiful yes. world to be. <laughs> yeah. but better than that even yeah. it can be better than that and maybe you've had some moments like that you know where yeah. everything just feels like good and it doesn't matter if you're like actually seeing butterflies or not because the thing is you could be sitting in the most beautiful place like I don't know, whatever you imagine, like a beautiful nature place or something. And like all different, like colorful butterflies flying all around and, and lots of colorful flowers and beautiful smells. And it's not too hot and not too cold. You know, it's just like perfect environment. But then, mm -hmm. then like you're just kind of feeling bad because you're, you're thinking something bad about yourself or something. So you're not really able to enjoy that, like that beautiful scene or that beautiful experience <laughs> or you could be sitting like just now right there in your room it's probably just like average it's probably like an average room there might be some nice things in it some not so nice things in it but you can be totally open in your heart and just feel so much love and aliveness and it really doesn't matter what you see you know it doesn't matter what the picture is outside like sometimes you'll see beautiful things and sometimes not. Like I, if I look up this way, I see, I can see a picture of me and Ananta and I can see a picture of Muji and Ananta and I can see a picture of Radhakrishna. And if I look down that way, I can just see the carpet. <laughs> you know, so like they're, they're different. And if I look out that way, I can see the sky. <laughs> I can see the sky. Well, like it really doesn't matter like which way I look, you know, 
you know your mind might say mm. oh look look towards the sky because that's the nicest or look look towards the car or whatever it says so they're all different <laughs> like, and they have they have a different sense but really it really even if you were in a, a black box <laughs> you could feel like if you close your eyes then technically you could be just in a little cardboard box or something and just be perfectly happy <laughs> mm.